Ever heard the one about the guy who wore his wife's high heels to a marathon? Now that's a shoe mix-up. Imagine this. It's a bright sunny day and the city marathon is about to kick off. Our friend here, let's call him John, is all pumped up. He's been training for months and now, it's showtime. John had meticulously laid out his running gear the night before. His lucky socks, his sweat-wicking shirt, his trusty marathon shorts, and of course, his running shoes. However, in the rush of the early morning, what he thought were his running shoes turned out to be his wife's pair of high heels. And here's the kicker. He didn't even notice until he reached the marathon venue. Now can you imagine the look on his face when he opened his bag to find a pair of sparkly stilettos instead of his trusty running kicks? While this might seem like a scene straight out of a slapstick comedy, it underscores the importance of wearing the right shoes for running. You see, running shoes are not just about style or brand, they're about comfort, support, and preventing injuries. When you're running, especially long distances, you want shoes that cushion your feet, provide stability, and are suited to your foot shape and your running style. Wearing the wrong shoes, like high heels or even the wrong type of running shoes, can lead to discomfort, blisters, or even serious injuries. John, bless his heart, decided to make the best of the situation. He ran the marathon in his wife's high heels, turning heads and raising quite a few laughs along the way. He didn't win the race, but he certainly won the crowd. And he learned a valuable lesson about the importance of the right footwear for running. And that, my friends, is why we don't wear high heels to a marathon. So why can't we just slap on any old pair of shoes and hit the track? Well, it's all about the science of footwear. You see, running isn't just a matter of putting one foot in front of the other. It's a complex symphony of biomechanics where every part of your body from your head to your toes plays a crucial role. And when it comes to the grand concert of running, your shoes are the conductor. Now let's dive into the science of running shoes. You might think all shoes are created equal, but that's far from the case. Every running shoe is a marvel of engineering, designed to support, cushion, and guide your foot as it strikes and pushes off the ground thousands of times during a run. Each shoe is made up of different parts, each with a specific purpose. The upper, for instance, holds your foot in place while the midsole provides cushioning and support. And the outsole, that's the part that hits the ground, is designed for traction and durability. But here's where it gets interesting. Not all feet are the same. Some of us have high arches, some have flat feet, and others fall somewhere in between. And each foot type requires a different kind of support. That's why running shoe companies produce shoes in a variety of models, each designed to cater to a specific foot type and running style. High arched runners, for instance, usually do best with cushioned shoes that provide maximum shock absorption. On the other hand, those with flat feet generally need a shoe with more stability to prevent overpronation, which is when the foot rolls inward excessively upon landing. And then there's the question of how you run. Are you a heel striker, landing heavily on your heels with each step? Or perhaps you're a forefoot striker, lightly tapping the ground with the balls of your feet? Each running style has its own shoe design that can help improve efficiency and reduce the risk of injury. Choosing the right running shoe is about understanding these complexities and finding the shoe that best fits your unique foot and running style. It's a delicate balance between comfort, support, and performance. Remember, it's not just about style, it's about the science. Ever tried on a pair of shoes that felt like they were made for an alien foot? You're not alone. Let's dive into the shoe fitting dilemma. It's not just about finding a shoe that looks good or is on trend, the fit is crucial. Imagine going for a run in shoes that are too tight or too loose. Sounds uncomfortable, right? It's not only uncomfortable, but it can also lead to injuries. So how do we solve this? It all starts with understanding your foot. Feet are like fingerprints, everyone's are unique. Some of us have narrow feet, some wide. There are flat arches, high arches, and everything in between. The key is to find a shoe that accommodates your foot's unique characteristics. Let's start with width. Shoes that are too narrow can cause blisters, corns, and other painful problems. On the other hand, shoes that are too wide can cause your foot to slide around, leading to instability and injuries. Next, we have length. Your running shoes should be slightly larger than your regular shoes to account for swelling during a run. A good rule of thumb is to leave about a thumb's width of space between your longest toe and the end of the shoe. Then there's arch support. If you have a high arch, you'll need a shoe with more cushioning to absorb impact. If you have flat feet, you'll need a shoe that provides stability to prevent overpronation. Lastly, don't forget about comfort, even if a shoe checks all the other boxes. If it's not comfortable, it's not the right shoe for you. To measure your foot size accurately, 
stand on a piece of paper and trace around your foot. Measure the longest and widest parts of the trace and compare these measurements with a shoe size chart. So, next time you're shoe shopping, remember to take your trusty tape measure with you. So what makes a shoe the Cinderella shoe for runners? Let's dive in. First off, the perfect running shoe is like a genie in a bottle, granting wishes to your feet. It's all about cushioning. Imagine running on a cloud. That's what a well-cushioned shoe feels like. It absorbs the impact when your foot hits the ground, reducing strain on your joints and muscles. Remember though, not all clouds are created equal. Some runners prefer a fluffy cumulus cloud, while others go for the leaner stratus. In the shoe world, that translates to more or less cushioning depending on your personal preference. Next, we have stability. This is the shoe's ability to support your foot and keep it aligned as you run. It's like having your very own chiropractor, constantly adjusting your foot to ensure it lands in the optimal position. This is particularly important for runners with flat feet or high arches, as they are more prone to overpronation or underpronation respectively. Then comes flexibility. A good running shoe should move with your foot, bending and flexing to match its natural movement. It's like a dance partner, matching your every step, turn, and leap. A shoe that's too rigid can restrict your foot's movement, while one that's too flexible may not provide enough support. Finally, we have durability. The perfect running shoe is a marathoner, not a sprinter. It should withstand hundreds of miles of running through rain, shine, or even snow. It's the trusty steed that carries you across the finish line, race after race. But remember, the perfect shoe is as unique as you are. What works for one runner may not work for another. It's all about finding that glass slipper that fits just right, giving you the comfort, support, and confidence to run your best race. So, the perfect running shoe isn't a myth after all. It's time for the ultimate showdown, Nike versus Adidas. Who will come out on top? Let's start with Nike, the brand that's known for its just-do-it attitude. Nike has a reputation for designing running shoes that are not only innovative but also incredibly stylish. Their shoes are often characterized by their lightweight design and responsive cushioning. Nike's Air Zoom Pegasus series, for instance, is a favorite among runners for its superior comfort and durability. The fly-knit technology used in many of their shoes provides a sock-like fit and enhances breathability, making them a great choice for long-distance runners. On the other hand, we have Adidas, the brand with the iconic three stripes. Adidas is known for its cutting-edge technology and high-quality materials. Their shoes are praised for their excellent support and stability, making them ideal for runners with a heavier build or those prone to injuries. Adidas's Ultra Boost series, for example, is renowned for its energy return capabilities thanks to the Boost midsole technology. This means every time your foot hits the ground, the energy is stored and then returned, helping you run more efficiently. But it's not just about the technology. Both brands have a strong commitment to sustainability. Nike's Move to Zero initiative aims to produce zero waste and zero carbon, and Adidas's Parley shoes are made with upcycled plastic waste collected from beaches and coastal communities. So, who wins the showdown? Well, it's not as simple as picking a winner. The best running shoe for you depends on your individual needs and preferences. You might prefer Nike's lightweight design and innovative technology if you're a long-distance runner, or maybe you'll lean towards Adidas if you need more support and stability. Ultimately, it's about finding the shoe that fits you best, both in terms of comfort and style. So, whether you're Team Nike or Team Adidas, there's a perfect shoe out there for you. So, you're ready to make the right choice and buy your perfect running shoes, but where do you start? Well, the first step is always to understand your foot type. You've got to know if you're a pronator, a supinator, or neutral. This is all about how your foot rolls when it hits the ground. A shoe store that offers gait analysis can help you figure this out. Next, consider the type of running you'll be doing. Are you training for a marathon, hitting the trails, or just jogging around the neighborhood? Each type of running may require a different type of shoe. For long distances, you'll want something with good cushioning. Trail runners should look for shoes with good traction and stability, while casual joggers might prioritize comfort and style. Now that you've got the basics, it's time to try some shoes on. Remember to go shoe shopping in the afternoon or after a run, when your feet are at their largest. Bring the socks you usually run in and any orthotics if you use them. When you're trying on shoes, there should be a thumb's width of space between the end of the shoe and your longest toe, and your heel should fit snug but not tight. You want your foot to feel secure without feeling squeezed. Take those shoes for a test run. Most stores will have a space for this. Pay attention to how your feet feel. Is there any rubbing, pinching, or slipping? 
If so, those shoes might not be the right ones for you. Don't forget to trust your gut too. If a shoe doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. Even if it's the latest model from your favorite brand or a recommendation from a friend, the best shoe for you is the one that feels the best on your foot. Remember, shoes are the most important piece of equipment for a runner. They're the difference between a great run and an injury waiting to happen. So take your time, do your research, and make sure you're making the right choice. And there you have it, the secret to choosing the perfect running shoes. We've had some laughs, dropped some knowledge, and hopefully helped you on your journey to finding the perfect running shoes. We delved into the comedic chaos of the running shoe mix-up, then took a deep dive into the science of footwear. We grappled with the shoe-fitting dilemma and explored the hallmarks of the perfect running shoe. We even staged a brand showdown comparing the top names in the game. Remember, choosing the right running shoes is more than just picking out a stylish pair. It's about finding the shoes that fit your feet, your running style, and your goals. It can make the difference between a comfortable run and a painful one, between achieving your personal best or nursing an injury. So keep these tips in mind the next time you're on the hunt for running shoes. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more running content. Because remember, life's a marathon, not a sprint.